Now, that was not the only viral coach clip that we had, and this is not entirely SEC related, but I've, I've got a way, Shane, to circle around and make it SEC related, and I know you're a Pittsburgh Steeler man, so let's throw it over to uh, head coach Mike Tomlin, who I think it was Carson Palmer that got this rumor mill started, but uh, according to Carson Palmer, Mike Tomlin, the Pittsburgh Steelers head coach, among the candidates to be the new Southern Cal head coach and, and Mike Tomlin. Oh man, he did a number on those rumors. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> so yeah, Tomlin. And I think he's right here. I mean, he's one of the best coaches there is in the NFL. And yeah. why would he want to go to college and go to Southern Cal? I know that's a, that's a prestige job out there in the PAC 12, but now here's how I circle back to the SEC with this one, Shane. And, you know, I, I really would just wanted to use that because it was such a viral comment here on Tuesday. But do you think, and I know this has been thrown out there before, I don't think there was any validity to it. And I'm not saying that they're, you know, this is going to happen, but I almost feel mm -hmm. like it would be a win win if it did. What are your thoughts, Shane, on Dan Mullen taking that Southern Cal job? Because at this point, I feel like I'm the only one that's left defending this man. You know what, Shane? I mean, the fans are <laughs> fed up with him. I don't know if you've heard the stories here, but uh, last week during the bye, it was noted he did not do any recruiting. He went on vacation with his staff, had to go on uh, and, and recruit. Mm -hmm. It, it comes Apparently there's a reason behind that, though. He, he's currently got a show cause to where he can't go on the road and recruit. But it's just a – it's kind of a bad look when you when you hear that. And this is coming on the heels of Florida losing two of their top three commits in the last week. I don't want to say the program's floundering because it's still a hell of a program here, but we're obviously having a, a step back from last season's team and just seeing a lot of frustrated Gators where I think they're looking at the Georgia Bulldogs, Shade, number one in the country, landed five-star after five-star, and here we are losing mm -hmm. our top commits and our program is struggling on the field. So, I don't know. I mean, I think you can certainly, you know, stick with Dan Mullen, and and I think he can – I just don't know how consistently he can win in the SEC at the highest of highest levels like the Florida Gators demand. So, I, I don't know. What are your thoughts on all that? <sighs> that's, a, that's a lot to unwrap there, Mike. I mean, because like you said – I, I think the timing is so bad. The timing when you're talking about the how this season has kind of – I don't want to say uh, – clearly we had high expectations for Florida Gators. Clearly the fans have had high expectations for the Florida mm -hmm. Gators. And you want your, your want your captain, your battle captain to come out and, and, and be 110% committed to the program. And, you know – when you hear stupid articles that come out last year about the NFL, you hear you hear us on the That SEC podcast talking <laughs> about your coach isn't committed and, and all this stuff. And then on top of that, you're losing all these games that you should have won. You got a quarterback controversy. You got no recruit. Now, I understand that you can't – you have a show cause, but going on vacation, Mike, in the middle of the season? Come on, man. When you're – you got the damn Georgia Bulldogs coming up. This is your Super right. Bowl. So I, I think the optics couldn't be worse. In fact, um, I'm seeing plenty of shit online, man, just propaganda. People people just digging up old videos of Dan mm -hmm. and old old memes that, that got some laughs because Florida Gator is it, it's starting to st – it's, it's like those uh, old cartoons. You know, it starts out with a snowball, and then the next thing you know, the thing's just – it's just out of control. That's kind of what this is starting to feel like. I don't think this program's out of control. I do not think Dan Mullen's out of control of this thing. But the optics from an outside, you know, it's 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 easy to, you know, it's it's easy to make fun of right now. It's easy to point them out. And then you got these these guys decommitted. I don't know how committed a lot of these kids were anyway. Right. Uh, there were some that were talking about it was a joke they were committed to begin with. But is that something you say just because they decommitted? So. I don't know. That, like I said, just the optics look really bad, and and the game is is going to be crucial. I think this is a pivotal game for for both. I mean, obviously Georgia has got high expectations. They want to 
compete in the SEC championship. They want to win a national championship. Haven't done that since the 80s. They're going to come out there. This is a this is a damn rivalry, son. I mean, this is this is a historic rivalry. And these two teams hate each other. And if you come into this game and you get smoked, I'm telling you what, man, it, Dan may not have the option. He may be getting fired at the end of this year. Right. And we, we say all that, yet he pulled the upset on Saturday. He's the best coach there is in the country. You know what I mean? It can turn on a dime. But I don't know. I was just sitting around thinking about it, Shane, because you got to think at a place like Southern Cal, you're the you're one of the big fish there in the, in the Pac-12. And I don't know how hard – it is to recruit out there when you're the big dog in that state. So I don't know. That's just kind of why I was thinking about it. Cause, cause I, here's the deal, Shane. I think Dan Mullen is too good to fire. Like, I don't think you can fire him, yeah, oh, but yeah, if he I leaves, agree. then you don't have to pay him a buyout. Then you can get someone else in there. But I don't know. The, the wheels were spinning in my head and I was just thinking, and I don't, for whatever reason, that Tomlin interview got me thinking that, uh, <laughs> you know, they're, they're shooting big and you can't shoot much bigger than Dan Mullen, in my opinion. And, and I, at this point, I don't think the Florida fans would be too sad if Dan Mullen decided to to take his ball and go home. You know what? <laughs> well, I, I I still think there's going to be several that do, Mike, because you, you think about some of these other stories. I mean, look at USC. The, there's a reason that they're hiring yet another mm-hmm. coach. They they haven't got to where they want to be. And Florida's, Florida, I mean, yeah, they, they, they played a couple bad games this year and couple things didn't go their way but still I, I i still don't want to face this team any right. given saturday florida can win a ball game don't think that that they're just going to roll over for the george bulldogs i don't see it happen i mean there's still a chance they can win this thing mm-hmm. so um I, I i think you've got a hell of a coach and to this day and age mike I, i'm telling you one bad hire will set you back a decade and florida almost did it with with McElwain, i think uh, hell you could even argue uh, Urban left them. Left them. I mean, think of think of uh, what's his name? What was the other one? Then with the Z. Uh, God, he was horrible. Um, Zook. Ron Zook. <laughs> yeah, God, I wish they'd hire his ass again. You know, I mean, they've they've had some bad hires, and I don't think Dan is anywhere near some of those names. So I I, I think they got a good coach. They get what they have down there works. It's just not worked this season. So uh, I'm not giving up on him. If I'm a Gator mm-hmm. fan. But like I said, the optics, it's easy to, to get a, kind of get caught up in this. I mean, it's firing season. That's, this is when coaches get fired. This is when you're ready for the next chapter. But you got to be careful because that ne- next chapter may suck. <laughs> 